What's up, YouTube? Of course, as, as always, if you hear anything in the background, it has nothing to do with this video. So I got a special one for y'all today. Um, this one is very blunt, uh, so to speak. But yeah, um, we got another blog poem. This one was made uh, August... Wait, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> August 13th, 2018, so I'm still on the August 2018 poems, work my way um, to the end of 2018, do half of 2019, and then go all the way back to 2015. Um, like I said, for anybody that's new here, um, I started my uh, Google Blogger with a bunch of poems on there. Uh, I started that in 2012, and uh, it was kind of around the time, like... They was talking about like it was the end of the world and shit. And I, you know, I was just like, okay, you know, so let me do something. And I wrote that. But actually, it all stemmed from me getting bullied in school. And I, I just needed an outlet. And, you know, it was mostly poems like about love for a while. And then it was like, okay, yeah, I really hate this person. So I'm going to just write about this. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. So if you don't know what my blogger is, is it's of course in my description. This is where I do my blog poems. I love these uh, blog poem videos. I do. I just I don't know why. Like it's just, it's that's like years of hard work right there. Just all these poems. I probably made over a thousand poems on this blog alone from those years. So yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, share, share this with your poetry your friends, and we can get it cracking. If you're new, sub. And if you want to be informed about new videos I put out every day, hit that bell. Alright, let's get started. Of course, as always, if you hear anything in the background, ignore it. This poem I got for y'all is called The Beast. I won't let you hold me. I won't let you kill me. I won't let you sell me. I won't let you control me. I won't let you consume me. I don't want your love, please. The souls of these humans you onslaught buried the lessons that you taught. Inside their minds, the history that they've sought has never been. I have to know what the plan is here. What prophecy is this in bleak? I cannot speak uncovering everything we've peaked. You're not winning, beast. How worse can it get when our world leaders have all bad intentions and empty promises. How bad can it get when your favorite musician sacrifices themselves for some dividends? How lovely can it get when you trust so much to the point where your heart is stolen? How lucky can you be when it can turn back time while way out of lines that you've chosen? I won't let you hold me, I won't let you kill me, I won't let you sell me, I won't let you control me, I won't let you consume me, I don't want your love, please. So yeah, that was the beast, very blunt, very just filled, jam-packed with a bunch of meaning behind it, I guess, if you can say so. So when I say the souls of these humans you onslaught bury the lessons that you taught inside their minds, the history that they've sought has never been. When I say that, it's kind of like what we perceive is mostly in the mind. So if anything, if they tell you about your history and what happened and how America was founded and this and that, nine times out of ten they're lying to you. And it's just like... I'm not no conspiracy theorist. I'm not here to promote ki that kind of thing on my channel, but I'm just a freedom speaker. Um, I, I have freedom. I'm, I'm a free thinker, basically. And it's kind of like if I see something wrong, I'm going to write about it. You know what I mean? Like if I see something happy, sad, whatever, I'm going to write about it. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, bury the lessons that you taught their minds anything like i say on my other videos anything that you perceive 
in your mind will manifest into reality. So if you think this is your reality and the history that you've been taught in school and et cetera, et cetera, is your reality and that's what happened and that's what you're going to believe for the rest of your life. So it's kind of like, you know, when I say how worse can it get when our world leaders have bad intentions and empty promises? How bad can it get when your favorite musicians sacrifice themselves for dividends? Those lines are basically very, ex- very explanatory. Sorry, because like the world leaders we got now, it's just like ridiculous who they put in office. And it's just like, why do we we don't even really need a president? We can make our own kind of laws and and our own we can live our own ways. We can come together. We can this and that. And it's just like, you know, why do we even have a president? Why do we even have politics? What What is a politic? <laughs> you know what I mean? And when I say mus- musicians sacrifice themselves for dividends, of course, that is the easiest thing to get. You know what that means, of course. Uh, most of your rappers and this and that, they already done, they're already gone, you know, see, so, you know what I'm saying, so, it's like, it's like, our world is, uh, a very tricky place, and you just gotta not lose your mind and lose your way into it, so, yeah, The Beast, part one, yeah, The Beast, part one, I forgot to mention it was a part one, but, if you like this poem, like, comment, share. Share this with your poetry friends and we can get it cracking if you're new, sub. And if you want to be informed about new videos I put out every day, hit that bell. Alright, peace, y'all.